Well, the most problems we're finding in the greenhouse is probably slugs. As you can see from this tomato here, the slug has just eaten the stem of that tomato, and that's the, that's going to die because it's only, it's only about this fraction of of the area which is non damaged. So there's one or two ways of getting rid of um, slags is to come in the night and pick them out because that's when they come out and see, see if you can find them. The next thing you can do is cut a grapefruit in half, scoop it out uh, and put the skin on the floor and they usually collect it there and then you can pick them up and dispose of them. Uh, or the next thing you can do is get a, a saucer or a, a container, put some beer in it. I tend to like beer, I don't know why. Uh, the next problem you get in the greenhouse is frost. Um, I know it gets some protection in the greenhouse because obviously it's covered, uh, but you still get a problem with frost, like those beans there, for example. Uh, they've been blown by frost because they're too near the door, probably, and they've got some draft coming through. Um, one way to protect against that is to plant at the right time. Don't plant too early because we all tend to plant too early, uh, and of course, the plants suffer. Uh, so wait till the weather improves before you start planting. The temperature is quite important. I've got a temperature here to control. Well, it tells you the highest maximum temperature in the day and night, the temperature at the moment, and the minimum temperature. Last night it was about four degrees, which is quite chilly. You've got to be conscious of what plants need. Some plants are quite hardy. Uh, I mean, like, I don't know, kale, for example. That's quite hardy. It can withstand anything. Uh, but when you go into tend to things uh, like beans or courgettes, for example, um, it is quite difficult. And what I've got here, I've got a section here. I made that with um, uh, heating cables inside there. I put a layer of sand on top of the heating tape cables, and it doesn't it doesn't get very hot, but it protects them from frost. So this area here will be five degrees higher than anywhere else in the greenhouse. So all the tender plants, I put them in here normally. Um, ventilation in the daytime is a problem. Yesterday I've noticed my thermometer there went up to 38 degrees. So make sure you have doors open, windows open. Uh, I've got a fan in mine as well that blows air uh, to, to protect the plants against overheating. Because plants don't grow when it's too hot and it actually burns the leaves, particularly tender plants. So the high temperature is just as bad during the day. So make sure your ventilation is there. Have we got a coriander?